which is hard. And it's not a straight line. Women weren't given anything. They fought, they marched, they sacrificed, they starved. If you look at something and there's nobody like you there, then you don't think that it's possible for you. So you just cross it off your list without even trying. What kind of future do we want for our children, for our grandchildren? What kind of world do we want to live in? My father took me to hear a concert with the New York Philharmonic, a young people's concert. And this guy came out to conduct and he was jumping around. I just grew up, grew up in a political family in Maryland, so I was aware of our responsibility uh, to community and also that public service is a noble calling and that we should respect that. I always did in others, never saw it for myself. But it was quite lovely because it took me by surprise. I'm rarely surprised. But um, it went, and he was having fun and he talked to the audience and so I said oh okay. no one does anything alone and you can't appreciate where you are if you don't know where you've been and when you read about these incredible stories about women from the beginning and the journeys and the trials and the tribulations it makes mine look easy journey you know really when you think about it you're in a great okay that's what i'm gonna do and from that day on i was nine years old i never changed my mind you know hopefully a society that values values equality and values respect and civility and negotiation above all empathy you know qualities that we need to get back to that we need to start to put first and foremost and educating every single girl in the world that is born and education access to education is a must